warm greetings to all of you sam at du speaking to ias aspirants you know what is the most striking fact of this event i'm going to begin with that only and that striking fact is brothers and sisters that at sam be it the organizers the volunteers or the facilitators anybody at the back end or the front end everybody is an ias and not just that there are some who are double ias you don't believe me actually brothers and sisters every sam member is an ias i mean an inner awakened soul and those who are double ias they are the ones who aspire to become ias i mean indian, indian administrative service officers and they got a marvelous help from this inner ias qualification you can meet them and talk to them and know how this inner ias qualification helped them to become an indian administrative service officer and they are today serving this post very diligently brothers and sisters we all know that ias is the most reputed most esteemed most powerful most honorable most dignified most prestigious the topmost cadres of services of india sari superlative degrees hain most 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 and that's very much true also but equally true is the other side of the fact as well the other side of parameters are also in the superlative degree it's the most demanding most challenging most difficult most testing of all the examinations of the country and that's why it so happens that at many a times while we are preparing for this ias it so happens that such challenging moments come we confront when we confront them we uh, these challenging moments they attempt to put a dot i mean full stop on our efforts on our speed on our enthusiasm on our zeal on our spirit but dear brothers and sisters there comes the beautiful role of this inner ias it has the power to convert this dot into dot 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 which means deadness and dullness gone and you keep moving on to prove my statement that how this inner ias helps you to become an outside ias officer a successful officer let me take three very very relevant situations which many of you while preparing for ias uh, must have come uh, across or it so happens very often situation 1 when we feel utterly helpless we feel as if there is no one to share our pain and there is no one to stand with us in the struggle we are going through you know there is a book which is titled as when bad things happen to good people in this book the author has uh, quoted a very interesting experiment he says that the participants were uh, made to sit with their bare foot placed in the bucket of ice barf mein unko pair rakh kar baithna tha and this was the challenge it was to be noted that for how long they could bear this pain they could go through this struggle you know one very very wonderful observation came from this experiment it was when there was some caring person present along with that participant in the room the time for hit which he could keep his foot in that bucket of ice it doubled it became twice in other words i would say when some caring person was present then he could face or fight the struggle for double the period of time now just imagine if in place of this caring person we have our inner awakened self which is the subset of absolute bliss jahan sirf for sirf 100% positivity hai care hai warmth hai support hai 24 cross 7 and there is not even an iota of weakness over there can you imagine the extent of strength we will gain out of it to face our struggles and pain let me take a very marvelous and very relevant case study in this respect an ordinary individual narendra nath dutt caught up in a whirlpool of challenges difficulties and he was just about to slip into the give up mode but then 
a spiritual guide came in his life, Sri Ramakrishna Paramhans. He made him qualify this inner IAS. And what happened next? He just not got up uh, with a big zeal and enthusiasm to face the challenges. Rather, he went on, progressed to become one of the iconic figures for the entire world. And today we hail him as our youth icon, Swami Vivekananda, who is the inspiration for many IAS aspirants today. This is what inner IAS does to you when you are aspiring for your this degree, this qualification. Situation two. When you are very worried about your future and you are very anxious, you are in the trap of anxiety and you're not able to, you know, focus on your goal and you just want to give up this fight. I remember a joke, an IAS aspirant, he was very worried about his future. He took his horoscope and uh, when his horoscope was read, the other person who was reading his horoscope, he said, brother, in your horoscope, there is only horror and no scope. Uh, I think this was the situation with one of the finest commanders in the battlefield of Mahabharata. Yes, I'm talking about Arjun. At that peak moment, he just, he got so much caught up with this worry and anxiety that he was about to give up his goal. But what happened? There came, there was the entry of Sri Krishna, the spiritual guide of Arjun who made him again qualify in this inner IAS. And what next? Arjun's state, his attitude, his, his state of fear that got completely transformed and how he became then after this IAS. Listen to his characteristics. You can refer to Gita 16.1, 2 and 3. Abhayam, fearlessness. Shantihi, truthfulness. Tejaha, vigor. Damaha, control of senses, and the list goes on and on. Yes, brothers and sisters, our attitude takes a U-turn when we are equipped with this inner IAS. Okay, I give you three words. End, hope, less. Can you arrange these words to form a drastically negative expression? You are quick. I know you must have made it by now. It is hopeless. End. And now just Again, frame a very fantastically positive expression out of these three words. Yes, it is endless hope. And this is the switch which you get when you are qualified into this inner IAS. You are instilled with endless hope where there is no horror but full scope to turn your dream of becoming an IAS officer come true. Situation number three when you are caught up in the trap of you see, and you miss out your UPSC. You see, one meaning of UC is unhealthy competition. And other, other, another meaning of UC is underconfidence. And both are very devastating on this path of preparing for IAS. Let me here refer to very well-documented case studies of the past, very much relevant over here. Case study number one for unhealthy competition spirit when you have this how it devastates your entire career. Shwet Ketu, he was a brilliant student, but he got caught. He became the victim of this unhealthy competition. He just wanted to trap all knowledge only for himself and never wanted others to gain that knowledge. 12 years of rigorous study he went through. What next? When he was posed with first question, what is that knowledge after knowing which everything becomes known? He stood dumbfounded. It was as if after 12 years of rigorous study, he could not clear even the prelims what to say of mains and interview. But there, there came the entry of a spiritual guide, Sage Uddalak. What did he do? He made him qualify in this inner IAS only. And what next, brothers and sisters? The same, same Shwet Ketu who had just missed out his goal. Otherwise, because of this UC unhealthy competition, he got up and he turned into one of the famous noteworthy figures in the field of knowledge. Case number two, when you are trapped in underconfidence. Upmanyu, one of the finest examples from history. 
he he could not focus on anything and he had he just lost his confidence that he cannot do anything in his life what then sage ayudhom me again applied the same philosophy he made him equip into this inner ias what next same same uh, upmanyu he got his perfect focus in his studies and he turned out out to be a legend in the field of knowledge yes brothers and sisters this happens you know why this inner ias i mean inner awakening of the self it works wonders because it teaches you and trains you in s o u l the subject of universal life and this is what the logo of your college ramjas college says very marked it uh, the statement uh, the written over, uh, that is written in the logo it says gyanat paratara nahi there is nothing above knowledge which knowledge this knowledge of inner awakening which does not fall allow you to fall in the traps of hopelessness helplessness anxiety worry loneliness and so on let me prove this point how this inner ias makes you sail through all the challenges and keeps you balanced in every situation i'll put this scientifically in front of you you see this is the bird and this is the pyramid if i place this bird anywhere like through its wing or through its any part it is falling but let me place this bird at its beak see brothers and sisters it is not falling and mind you there is no magnet at its beak i know you are ias aspirants you must have got the reason got the reason behind this yes this bird has been designed such that its center of gravity has been made to lie at its beak and when somebody is established at its center of gravity it remains completely balanced as this bird is right now you know why i quoted this example in front of you because the same thing applies with us when we are awakened at our soul level that means when we have this inner ias degree with us how in metaphysical parlance this is the center of gravity of our existence and when a perfect spiritual guide he makes us qualify this inner awakening of soul that is inner ias he makes us establish at this point where after all our actions all our decisions our disposition entire thing comes in perfect balance beat whatever the situations outside and my heartiest and my uh, salutations in the lotus feet of gurudev shri ashutosh maharaj ji who is today making this actually practically true in millions of lives, lives across the world he has transformed youth today who are, who is moving to it today with full spirit and zeal to achieve their targets i don't know um, who has kept this name a vip of the program but my congratulations to that person because this is really well thought of name agar aap iska meaning dekhenge one of the meanings of a vip is crystal clear and it very much befits our discussion today because this inner qualification of ias it makes our mind crystal clear of all the viruses of hopelessness helplessness anxiety and the list goes on ye aapke man ko in viruses se yukt nahi hone deta aapke man ko avyukt banata hai aur aapko ek acha ias officer banne ke liye upyukt banata hai in the end my best wishes to all of you ki aap aise ias qualification le so that you never quit in your life i remember beautiful words of poet john greenleaf he writes i am just mentioning a few of his lines he says just don't give up when your pace might seem slow because you might succeed with another blow stick to your fight when you are hardest hit it's when the things seem utterly wrong you must never quit brothers and sisters my best wishes to all of you to be a successful and true ias i mean true i plus true a plus true s true i who is an who is a real indian at heart 
क्योंकि अगर आप आई की क्वालिफिकेशन या इसके रिक्वायरमेंट्स के लिए आप नेट पर सर्च करेंगे यू विल फाइंड दिस कैटेगोरिकल स्टेटमेंट दैट इट इज द ओनली एग्जामिनेशन व्हिच रिक्वायर्स यू टू बी अ नेचुरल सिटीजन ऑफ भारत एंड टू बी अ रियल नेचुरल सिटीजन ऑफ भारत इन द फुलेस्ट सेंस बी द वन हु इज रथ इन भा संस्कृत में भा मीन्स लाइट रथ मीन्स इमर्ज that is be a true indian realize that bhartiyata in you by realizing this light of spirit in yourself through inner ias true a the true administrator who whose life is perfectly disciplined not by the scalar quality of speed but by the vector quantity of velocity i mean to say jisme sirf gati na ho balki sahi mati ke sath gati ho and true s the the ones the one who knows how to really serve truly jisme koi bhi trace of ego na ho i hope you know this rule if i say a sentence in english i divya and jyoti went to attend a vyukt ye grammatically wrong hai because english grammar says in such sentences i has to be placed at the last position the correct sentence would be divya jyoti and i went to attend a vyukt brothers and sisters make this the rule of your life as well let us serve humbly and be true and real ias officers for our nation thank you so much